All right, y'all, I'm going to do the warm up from um, Monday and the warm up for today. Monday's warm up says, There, let's start with, let's see if you can see that a little bit better. It says that um, Paula runs a bakery. She estimates that her weekly cost of rent and electricity is $250. The ingredients to bake one cake cost $4. Write an equation to represent the total cost to Paula's bakery per week. If X is the number of cakes made, okay? Um, what is the slope and what is the y-intercept? All right, okay. So first thing that we look for, we're looking for the starting amount here. Paula automatically has to pay this $2 in, in uh, $2, I, she wishes, $250. So that's gonna be your B, that's your Y-intercept. B is your starting amount. So this is the starting cost for the week. Okay, um, your y-intercept, I'm um, sorry, your slope, because this is your y-intercept, your slope or your rate of change is going to be the $4. So your $4 is the cost um, to bake one cake. So M is going to be your $4. It costs $4 to make a cake. So it's going to be $4 per cake. So your wine set represents the starting cost for the week and your slope in this represents the uh, cost per cake, okay? So the equation, which is written in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b is going to be y. Your m is gonna be $4 times the number of cakes, x, plus your starting amount, which is gonna be $250, okay? So this is going to be, this is gonna be your equation, all right? Okay, Tuesday, it says the mass of dust particle is, and you got this extremely small number, got a decimal, and this is nine zeros and 753 kilograms. Write the value in scientific notation. Scientific notation, is a way that you write extremely large and extremely small numbers in a way that it's readable. Most of the time, when the number is this long, your calculator, um, depending on depending on how many characters your calculator can hold, it's gonna automatically write a um, number in scientific notation if that number is extremely small or extremely large so that it can fit on the screen. Okay, so in order to write a number in scientific notation, the first thing you do is locate where the decimal is. This is an extremely small number. The second thing that you do is you, this is an extremely small number because it's less than, of course, one, right? Um, here, the second thing that you do is you're gonna move the decimal behind the first significant digit. Zero is not significant because it does not hold value. As I read from left to right, my first significant digit is seven, okay? So I'm gonna count how many spaces it takes me to move behind the seven. So that's gonna be one space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it takes 10 spaces to get it behind the first significant digit. Remember when you read digits, you're always gonna read like you're reading a book from left to right. So the first significant digit is seven. So now you're going to rewrite the number as 7.53. And you're always going to write this times 10 because you're moving place values at a base of 10. Okay. So your base is automatically going to be 10. And your exponent is going to be how many times you move that decimal, whether you move it to the left or to the right, to get it, to, to get it behind the first significant digit. If you are moving it, if the number is small, your x, which is less than one, your exponent is gonna be a negative. If the number is larger than one,
then your exponent is going to be a positive. This number is smaller than 1, so my exponent is going to be a negative 10 because I moved it to the right 10 times. In the calculator, this is how I would see it in the calculator. I'm not going to see the base 10 in the calculator. What I would see in the calculator is this. E. And after the E, I would see a negative 10. This is how I would see it in the calculator. The E in the calculator represents the 10 on paper. Okay? The E in the calculator represents the 10 on paper. Okay.